Okay, everybody. So, um, I got some. I was asked how I'm screwing with the pump without to change the timing without rotating the overall pump. So, this is the front of the engine, and I'm doing this with a flashlight because it's night out. But down here on the uh, left side of the pump, I'm not sure how well I can make this visible, but we have a lever. So I'm just going to unplug some of these wires here, make it a little bit more visible. So we've got the throttle. Damn. Okay. So we've got the top of the injection pump, and we have right there, next to that wire, There's a, that's a cam. And it's got a set screw on it. That allows you to change the uh, angle of the cam. So as I rotate, as I had changed the throttle position with the throttle lever right here, so when I push down on the accelerator, I change the throttle position, and you can see that this cam right here moves. The front of this cam is... Um, actuated by a lever just below there. And I should wait for a day. But right here, right below it, you can see there's a, that pin. That's what the uh, cam rides on. And so as you uh, accelerate, this cam pushes the lever out like this. So you can see, as I accelerate, the first little bit of acceleration, it pops up. That pushes in right at the bottom. It's really hard to see, but right there at the bottom, we have a set an Allen set screw. Right there. Yeah. So we got the lever, and we got the set screw down there. Now, if I push that set, if I uh, screw that set screw in, I can um, retard the overall timing. Screw it out a little bit, and I advance the timing. Now, it's really hard to get a screwdriver down there, especially when the engine is warm. So I tend to take the whole lever out and adjust it right out here. What I do is take a little screwdriver, and you can see that that pin is held in with a C-clip on that side. It's also got, it's got a C-clip and then another, like a, a press ring or whatever it is. The One of those ones that only goes on once. But you don't need it. So there may be one on both sides, but all you got to do is have something that holds that pin in. So I have just a C-clip on there. I take a little screwdriver, pop that C-clip out. That pin right there slides out. Then you can just lift the uh, that whole lever up and out. Change the timing. Put it back in there. Put the pin in, and then drop your little C-clip down from the top with a pair of needle nose pliers, thin ones, and push it in, and you're done. And so it's a very easy way of changing the timing. Um, you can also do it a little bit by, uh, um, you can put some spacers behind that, behind that cam, so that set screw rides in a groove in the... Uh, the throttle, um, what should I say, uh, cylinder uh, uh, shaft, throttle shaft, and there's a little bit of play, so if there's any side-to-side -side play, you may want to get rid of that by putting a little spacer washer behind it. Right now, there's a couple of very, th the engine's supposed to have a very thin one right behind it, but I ended up putting two of them, because there was just enough space, and, um, you can change when you want the timing, the advance or the retard to come on, changing your the middle of your fuel curve or your timing curve by uh, changing the rotation, the angle of that uh, that cam. So you just loosen up that set screw, and that'll change uh, when it starts to retard. And so compared to the low end, where the high end sort of basically your mid-range. Your high end is going to be the same no matter what. 
that's going to be what you get when you uh, have the, the cam all the way. So it, it, the cam goes flat from about half throttle onward. It's supposed to uh, be fully um, at that flat spot and all the way in a full retired position by about 2,000 RPM. That's the stock. When you're modifying it, when you're messing with it, well, you figure out what you want. Um, that's all I can really say. I don't know more than that. I have physically taken one of these out and machined on it a little bit, taken the low end and taken about 20 thou off of it on the low side, which gave me um, a wider range. So therefore, I had a more advanced idle compared to the uh, the full throttle position. So I, I needed more advanced timing overall so so in order what I had was a, a system where if I if I advanced the the timing enough to have a good idle then it was too advanced on the high side when I'm trying to go 3000 rpm and it's starting to clatter and clank and not work so good on the other hand if I retarded it a bit then it was smoky and horrible when I'm trying to start up so I just modified the just took a basically a sander and sanded the low side down a little bit. Uh, let me, actually, let me get that right now. I'll just show you guys. So, note my nice R&D sticker. Justin gave me that with the uh, injectors that I put in. Um, I kept my other, right now I'm using an unmodified uh, cam. But this is my modified cam. This is what the cam looks like. And uh, what I modified was the low side right there. So you can see that's all shiny. I uh, machined that down a little bit and sanded it. And then over here is the high side. So this is that disc that you're seeing from the top of the injection pump. But that's all I really know. I don't have any sort of, I don't have a nice timing device that can show me a full curve under no throttle to full throttle because that will change the timing and usually changes it fairly significantly as far as I can tell. Um, but that's what I'm doing. Thank you for watching.